Just a minute. Can you identify yourself if you are from the media before taking photos? Thank you. 
Inspector Frederick Cosen, Cosen, who presented that application on the 25th of March 2024. If the court would wish to hear from me, it's before court. That is all. Those are the directives of the ODPP. That's all. Please proceed. So, in our case now, therefore, the IO is here. Currently, I'm attached at DCI. Forming general investigations. Your Honor, I wish to close the miscellaneous application. Dated 25th March 2024, which I saw before this court. That we, we I did the investigation and forwarded the file to the homicide. then forwarded the same file to the ODPP. So, Your Honor, I wish to close the application, the resilience application. That's all, Your Honor. same was detained for purposes of taking photographs. That motor vehicle is also released. That is KDK 780. Very well, Your Honor. Your Honor, that application was filed through the e-filing platform. I don't know whether... Served it also on the court assistant. I, I don't know whether. So the Those are. For helping court to get the experience. You know, that, the, the reason why I'm saying. And the application before this court was on the custody of. Uh, of uh, the respondents. <coughs> Your court ordered that they be brought to this court today. <coughs> so that we would hear from the prosecution side on what they have decided.
However, Your Honor, you, you, you have seen the pressure that I've had since morning when I came before you. That even if they were, they had preferred a charge, and, and there was an order of this court that they, they be brought to this court so that they would be able to explain to court whatever they found. You know, we find it quite amazing that they, they had decided on a charge and, and, and took him to a different court while we are waiting to hear the conclusion of the investigation. You know, the, the, the family of the first respondent would want to raise that they are so disappointed on how the prosecution uh, have handled this matter. And also to go on record, Your Honor, is that on criminal justice system, it does not begin in court. It begins with the investigation. You know, you're being treated to a sham today whereby they, they want to explain to you that they've already done their work and preferred a charge. They have discharged other people and decided that other people are to, are, are to, are to, are to be charged. You know, it, it is <coughs> our, our submission today that this court has power and could have, could have uh, uh, helped them. There is no evidence. That is an injustice, Your Honor, that is irreparable, that cannot be remedied. We've not even had even an attempt to tender an apology. The homicide team, and I know this for a fact because my clients were contacted, the homicide team from Kiambu Road said, after they conducted the investigation, there was not even the most basic of evidence. Yes. yes, so let me, yes, so let me, yes, so the, the, the point I'm trying to make is this, yes, yes, that going forward, that, yes, that conduct should be condemned by the DCI, so that they stop undermining our constitution, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, just, one, one, just one thing to add, Your Honor, because, uh, yes, uh, yes uh, I am, I am, there was an offense that was committed. The prosecutor is not just bring an application to court just for the purpose of wasting court time or even denying that the respondents their rights. An offense had been committed. We have to agree to that. And the police had the right to go and do the investigations. Which investigations have been done? And respondent number one, number 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 two to number seven have been found not to be capable. Now, today, the same, same uh, respondent number one was supposed to be presented before court uh, in Kiambu to take the plea. It was not possible for him to be in court today at the same time to be in Kiambu to take the plea. But if the court so orders, if the court so orders, we can wait until they finish their plea, take a plea in, in, in Kiambu, and then we come and proceed and close this uh, application. But that one, of course, will cause delays. As you can see, most of the, response, the advocates for the responses are not opposed to us closing our, our application. And I don't think there is any reason why this application should not be closed today. Because we have... Yes. Yes. Let me... You know, as I began, I say, as officers of court, we can help court create a jurisprudence. What, what, what I wanted to ask is that if they could have agreed today that they are charging a, a second court that we wanted to appeal. Do, do we take this one to, to, the other, to the other side of this court had jurisdiction to hear up to the level where we are, that they were kept in custody, a report was brought. Even if it's presented at all, for closure of this matter, if you insist then, we will wait until it's presented. You know, for your direction, because for this we are assisting even the, for the jurisdiction. I get you, yes. where you're coming from. If, if, you, if it's in your conscience and your discretion that you find that it doesn't hold any water, then we can close it. But if, if you would think that if you create a jurisprudence that the prosecution one day would not behave the way they've done today. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to keep uh, my brothers in, 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 uh, in uh, independence, awaiting that I am making a complaint.
I am asking that this court can create a jurisprudence that one day they will be warned not to do the same thing they have done today to another person because we, we, are, in, we, we are helping the nation. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have a charge with you. Yes. As people of the number E011, I don't know whether you've been seeing uh, uh, Alaya's high ballot. You have yes. seen the charge. Uh, that you presented before Kemi. Now that I have heard, and, and now I don't know whether he's already taken a plea either side. Give him cards to this charge. You know that you have to just give him the same. Yes. By Mr. Mutune. We, we, would, we would agree principally that we close the file. Most of them. Hearing is now closed based on the prosecution's uh, presentations in court as well as the response from counsel for the respondents. So we are done with this file. We are thanked as official. It, it is in the application by the. They are treated as a. No, so they did not make a formal application. They just did want to close. But I think for avoidance of doubt, yes. could you just. Could you kindly. Could the record reflect your honor that you have been charged? Here, what you have Makelele, Pia, Warudi, Apa? Let them be discharged. There, there was a custodial order. Your honor, can that order that you made on 25th? Just, just a be minute. Ordered. Mr. Nanga, Yangu Imeisha. Nimemaliza. Lakini wa metoka, siyo. I thought we have been uh, submitting. You want us to be in court throughout? Mupatia ama wakiri kati higine ya hii Imeisha. It is a sad day. Let me first begin by introducing myself. I'm uh, Otiende Omondi, uh, appearing in this matter for the first respondent, who is uh, Alan Ochieng, also known as Sing Today, is that you've seen the sham that has been done in this court. Because, remember when we were here on 25th, we had seen what they had already done. There has been a, a social media campaign raised by the uh, other respondents and uh, the police at large. Uh, initially, you'd see that the first respondent, Mr. Alan Ocheng, also known as Balo, was characterized as the, as the bouncer. Therefore, at that particular time when we saw that, we raised an issue that when you characterize an hyper as a bouncer, then definitely you've already skewed the, 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 the investigation that you do. It is also important to note that uh, uh, criminal justice system does not begin in court. Many people only come to court to cleanse those who are, 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 are culpable. 
First of all, let me say that I'm very sorry for the family of the uh, late uh, uh, Kinto, uh, is called who? The officer? The family of the late that uh, uh, he met his life untimely, but we are afraid that he will never get justice because what you are seeing today is already a sham. You are being treated to a sham as a nation whereby you would see that those who would help the family of the late to get uh, their, their right and justice are, are, are already released and have already been turned to be, to, be, uh, to be the state witnesses. Therefore, we are afraid that when you talk of public interest, it does not mean that you, you arrest anyone and then you, tra you treat the public with a, with a sham and then you, you release some people and you look for... First of all, it is important to note that one who has been uh, uh, charged today is charged because of his poverty. He comes from Kibera. That was what we can speak. It means that if you don't have money in this country, then even investigation does not, uh, does not uh, stand with you. That is what we want to raise. And with that, I would let the other council also to speak before I invite uh, our senior. Uh, uh, ladies, a moment. We wish to reiterate uh, this position as uh, the team for the representation of the first uh, respondent. Uh, my name is Ms. Angano, uh, appearing alongside uh, my senior here. But what we would want to say is that uh, we put it in record uh, for the entire country, for the entire justice system, that uh, the latter and spirit of the Constitution under Article 49 uh, should be adhered to, to everyone. And uh, the framers of our Constitution did not uh, arrive to this decision and to this article uh, for specified uh, persons. Our client, uh, who has now been left in the, door, in, in the course of uh, this justice system, uh, has been uh, put in that situation uh, because of so many factors, uh, which we'll probably uh, dealt with them later. But what we really want to put across in this, uh, this moment is that we need to adhere to the latter and spirit of the Constitution. Let us not uh, be swayed by the matter of public opinion and public interest. Let us uh, push the constitution to the core. And whatever is, uh, the outcome of this uh, situation is that we are going to push and to make sure that uh, we serve justice, not just uh, to the, our client and uh, to the victims, uh, to the victim situation, but for the rest of the country, so that each and every one of us can be able to know that uh, whenever you have an issue, uh, you are being put across to the proper justice system. Mm. My senior has reiterated that uh, the criminal procedure is not just the court uh, situation. The criminal procedure starts with the complaint, then there's the most important investigation point that the police, the DCA, and all the required entity are supposed to adhere to, so that they can be able to come out with an investigation that can be able to be put across court, so that this person can put the defense and be able to be charged, and each and every one of us will look at it from the face of it that indeed this person was gone, uh, gone through the uh, criminal justice system but if the uh, process has been flawed me and you know that we cannot say that uh, the, the the decision that will be achieved at or rather reached at once a flawed system has been occurred can be good uh, we know all the situation we know all the circumstance and we are going to team up to prepare and to make sure that this uh, process uh, has gone through the required uh, situation and we come up with the proper justice system for both parties. Thank you so much. The first respondent is concerned by giving a disclaimer. Uh, this matter is still very much alive and we are doing this within the context of giving information to the public because then the information uh, must circulate. And we want to encourage the media. You had picked this issue from the get-go when all the seven parties were presented in court as respondents. As you're aware now, uh, six of them have been discharged. We are going to expect uh, the media to give this matter the same attention it was giving uh, before when we had the six uh, respondents. I say that because we have seen a pattern that has been orchestrated. In that sense, I associate myself with what my colleagues have said. In the first instance, when our client, now the accused person in this matter, was arrested, he was blatantly beaten up. And he was the only one who was beaten up among the seven uh, respondents. Uh, secondly, he was detained separately uh, at uh, Kabete police station, while the other three were detained at Mudangari, and the other three detained at uh, 
uh, Riruta. So we already saw that there was a common thread to isolate our client, uh, the accused person in this matter, and place the blame and the responsibility on it. And you can see also, it was also circulated around that he was a bouncer. Now you have seen, if you've heard about the information sheet, uh, information sheet that has been presented in court, he has been properly captured as an alias, the hype man. He has always been a hype man, he is not a bouncer, and we want the record to be set very clear uh, as far as this issue is concerned. We shall continue uh, to uh, evaluate the evidence that the prosecution is relying on. Uh, as you've seen, the prosecution has already even contradicted itself here, while it is using, it is still sticking on the phones of the so-called witnesses, it is still sticking on the, so on the vehicle belonging to the so-called witnesses, and at the same time, alleging that these are state witnesses. So we can already see a lot of contradictions in this matter. Of course, we do not want to converse this matter in the public domain. We respect the process. Uh, shortly, we are going to rush before the High Court, Superior Court in Kiambu, where our client will be arraigned uh, as far as the, matter, the, the plea taking is concerned. And we shall continue to ensure that we address the issues on a particular way. But we have confidence in the judicial system. We are aware that ultimately, due process will be followed and our client will receive uh, justice that he so deserves. So thank you very much and we will continue to engage. Uh, I don't know if our family members want to. Mimi ni mchetezi wa haki za kibinadamu na mwanaharakati. Nataka kutoa pole zangu kwa familia ya muenda zake. Lakini na hofia sana kwamba, inaonekana kwamba hatuta pata haki. Tayari kuna dhana potovu ambazo tumeona kwenye koti hii. Tumeona kwamba tunabaguliwa. Ala ni mtoto ambaye ni memlea wakati mama yake aliaga ni mtoto ambaye amekuwa kwa mkono ya jamii so tunaona kwamba tayari tunabaguliwa kwa sababu sisi hatujiwezi sisi hatujulikani dhana la kusema kwamba ala alikuwa bouncer ambayo imekubaliwa na kila mtu ili hali tunajua sisi wote mpaka vyombo vya habari vimempeleka kwenye station na hakuwa bouncer so inakuwaje leo kwamba yeye ni bouncer ya pili wanashikwa wote katiba katiba ni wazi kwamba you are not guilty until proven munashikwa kwa sababu mnashukiwa alafu wengine wanateuliwa na wenzao yeye anapelekwa kwenye cell tofauti wale wengine wanapelekwa kwenye cell tofauti nataka pia kusema mimi najua haki zangu msingi we have right to information mimi kama mtu ambaye niko karibu sana na balo nafika hapa nikitarajia kwamba atakuwa arraigned in court kisha nasikia sijui amepelekwa wapi na huuliza hakuna mtu ananiongelesha hakuna mtu ananipatia majibu ninasikitika sana nasikitika sana na ni bayana kwamba hapa kuna ukora kuna utapeli lakini sisi kama jamii na wanaharakati hatutanyamaza kimya na hatutaacha maovu itendeke tukiona tunaomba haki itendeke kwa familia ya mwenda zake haki itendeke kwa Alan na hata wale wanajiweza kwa vile wako na fedha pia wapate haki kama mtu amefanya makosa tusiangalie yako na nini jina yake ni gani yako na pesa ngapi Halan ni mtoto wa jamii hatuna uwezo mkubwa lakini tutatumia sauti zetu kueleza dunia nzima na Kenya kwamba tunataka haki kwake balo asanteni sana thank you so much thank you thank you so much thank you thank you okay so my name is Jacqueline Coyne um, we are here as family and friends of the deceased officer uh, Inspector of Police, Felix uh, Kindrosi. Um, we are here to follow this matter. And we have seen um, that we are not likely to get justice. Because um, when the investigations, when, when the case is just beginning, and we hear that six of the seven suspects have just been freed. And yet, for people, it is important for people to know that we spoke to our kid before he died. He did not die immediately on the scene where he was beaten up. He was beaten up, arrested by police, you know, uh, taken to the cells, uh, spent, uh, 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 released the following day and taken to hospital. And therefore we spoke to him. We actually know that he was beaten up by more than one person. And that, the person that they are saying is, is the key uh, suspect is a worker of one of the people who have just been freed. The officers, uh, the police officers, were actually witnessing as uh, the officer was being beaten up. And therefore to us, this is not the way to go. We feel like uh, so much is being hidden. And 
uh, justice should be seen to be served by the courts in Kenya because we want justice for our kin, we want the death of our, our, our brother unraveled and we really, really are seeking that the courts, you know, uh, uh, every, every person that was involved in his death is, you know, brought to book.